Okay, so last time when we talked about uh, filters, we have uh, we discussed, uh, of course, the agenda and everything here, and then we discussed the difference or the main difference between the passive filters and the active filters. Okay, so if you can, guys, let me know what will be the main difference or let's say the advantage and disadvantage of active filters over the passive filters. What do you think? Uh, Anyone? We can use buffers. Okay. With active filters, we use buffers. What is it in the buffer? It's a buffer. What? It's a So the output impedance will be almost zero. Or will be the output impedance of the op amp, which is very, very small. Uh, okay, the gain will stay the same almost. I mean, the, 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 of the stage, if you load it somehow, uh, you will not affect the gain or the transfer function. What else? If you have a buffer, what we can do, Shabab? Amplify. We amplify. We can amplify the signal, sir. Huh? With passive filters, the maximum gain we can get is one, while in active filters, you can get uh, more gain uh, as you want, like 10, 15, 20 or so, uh, so on. So you can also utilize the OBAM to make or to provide more gain. OK, and also in cascading, when you cascade filters to get higher order, higher order of uh, uh, for, for the filters, you can use uh, or you can benefit from the OBAM or the availability of the OBAM. Montes. OK, so let us now discuss the filter transmission or the filter, like let's say the transfer function in general. Uh, and uh, then we'll go to how we implement the active filters either in first order or in second order. And this is our, uh, I think this is just uh, a reminder for you guys. The transfer function is nothing but your V output over V input. And usually we are using a uh, logarithmic to find uh, the, the, uh, the value of uh, the transfer function. So we say, okay, this filter has, a, a, let's say, a 40 dB gain or 100 dB gain. And that's why we use 20 log the transfer function. And of course, we have two things. We have the magnitude of the transfer function, and also we have the phase of the transfer function. And we talked about this one very briefly also when we discussed the frequency response. OK, type. So um, also here I will go very quickly because we know the ideal cases of the stop of the low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop, uh, uh, sorry, band stop or uh, the opposite of the band pass. So these are the ideal cases where we need to have uh, a gain. Uh, let's say we have it here one. It can be more than that. And then that's what we call base band. So in the base band, this is the, the region where we operate our signals for the low pass filter, of course. And then we want to stop the signals uh, uh, for, from transmission or the circuit will trans uh, will stop the signals from uh, getting in in the stop band and we uh, have the corner frequency which is omega p here this is the omega node that we usually find for the low frequency or the low pass frequency or the high pass uh, filter sorry low pass filter and high pass filter this is the omega node uh, or omega p, p for pass base band, and s later on we'll see it for stop band. So this is for low pass filter, this is for high pass filter, and then we have a band pass filter. We have two poles here, okay, because we have a bandwidth where we need to uh, 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 like uh, uh, make our signals operate. Uh, between let's say uh, 1k and 5k that's a bandwidth of 4k kilohertz uh, so anything below 1 kilohertz will be rejected the same uh, for uh, any frequency above 5k okay and then uh, we have omega s here that's the stop band uh, frequency okay so these are just terminologies you want to get your, your yourself familiar with 
so yes, so this is omega p or the base band edge. And of course, Shabab, this is an, uh, an ideal case. Let's take uh, the ideal case of the low pass filter as an example. You have an ideal case here, but the reality, what you will have, you'll have some, or we allow, usually we allow some variation in the gain of the base band. So we have some variation here. And of course, we'll not have that steep transition between the base band and stop band. There will be some transition here, and then we allow some minimum attenuation. So this is an ideal, uh, this is the practical case, okay? So we define parameters based on that. So we have A max. So the A max is the maximum ripple you can apply to the base band. So you have a filter, for example, with a 10% of a maximum variation. That's your maximum ripple of the base band. And we may also use the dB and sometimes uh, uh, or most most of the time, like typical values for the A max, it's between uh, 0.05 up to up to 3 dB. And of course, if you allow uh, higher variation, the filter will be like will not be uh, close to the ideal case. The minimum variation will be uh, the ideal close to the ideal. And of course, you need to pay price of high order. So if you want to go very, very low or very like uh, almost zero uh, variation in the pace band, you, might, you, may, you may want to have the high order uh, filters as well as the transition here will be very steep. OK, if you go in the order of the filter, the transition will be uh, steeper. Uh, for example, five order five, you will have uh, more uh, like your, your, your transition will be steeper than if you have an order of three or two, OK? So this is for the A max, and also we define the A minimum here, which is the minimum allowed, let's say, stop band attenuation uh, uh, compared to, of course, your gain in the base band, OK? So this is the A minimum here, OK? Um, also, we define the selectivity of the filter. If you have omega S, so this is omega s shabab starting your stop band region and this one is omega p uh, ending your pace band region of course if your omega b equals exactly omega s that's the ideal case shabab so the selectivity factor in the ideal case will be one because your omega p will be the same as omega s and we are trying in filter design we are trying to get there we are trying to hit that ideal uh, selectivity factor, but it will be very, very hard. And most likely you will pay uh, the price of getting high order filters. OK, so maybe 10th uh, order of 10 or maybe more than that. Uh, OK, what else would we have here? So this is for the low pass filter. It will be almost the same. I mean the opposite with the high pass filter. Uh, uh, in the bad mass filter, there are, there are something uh, uh, different, but this is the general requirement here. طبعاً شباب for filter design, usually طبعاً إحنا نقول إيش high order filters. لما نتكلم عن ثمانية, eight, ten, eleven or more, we are talking about a very complicated circuit, okay, or a very complicated, let's say, transfer function. And we are not usually, we don't deal with these high order filters from scratch. We use we usually go to for CAD tools. So either MATLAB, Simulink, maybe Spice Simulator. So for these uh, simulators, they will provide us a better, a better understanding or a better design for these filters. It's not an easy job, Ishaba. Filter design, it's not an easy, an easy job. I have a, a, a book in my uh, bookshelf. Yeah, and it's like a Sidra book uh, in size uh, uh, and in volume. It's only about filter design and it is analog filter design only. OK, but we'll try. We are trying to get any yani, uh, familiar with the filter design in this topic in general. And this is the band bus filter. We have something uh, yani different like the Omega S. We have two here. We have uh, two uh, 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 poles here, poles. Uh, because we want to prevent or we want to reject some low pass uh, frequencies and also high pass frequencies, high frequencies. Okay. 
OK, so let's try to find or to get sense of how we can find the A max and A minimum of any filter. And this is an example here. We have a magnitude uh, or we are required to have a magnitude of the baseband transmission to remain constant shabab, or within ish plus to five uh, plus to minus five percent. So uh, this is what uh, it should be. It should be somewhere. OK, it's not saying it's not saying the type filter, but let's consider it's low pass filter. OK, so if this is a low pass filter. We are. Uh, we, we, we assume to have something like this. OK, so we have some variation at the baseband region and we have variation at the stone bed region. And of course, we have a transition between these two regions. Let me change colors here. Uh, this is let me call this one to be Omega P. This one almost Omega S. It was starting the uh, stop band and this is what? Let me call this one. Of course, from here. This one will be your A minimum. And the variation here will be A maximum. Make sense, Shabab? Yes. How how can I find the A maximum? And then a variation plus five plus minus five percent. So your A maximum will be what? 0.05. Will be uh, from the minimum value, which is how much is the minimum value here, Shabab? Come minimum value. If this one is your A naught, خلينا نسميها A naught, which is the average. If that's your gain or the average, what will be the minimum here? It's 0.95 A naught. The maximum will come 105 A naught. صح? فهو يتراوح من 1.05 إلى 0.95. That's the variation here given. And then you just divide them together. طبعا 20 log. Usually we use 20 log. So 1.05 over 0.95. And that gives you how much? That's almost 0.87 dB. OK. Make sense? So just the variation in the base pen. So if I give you this problem in percentage, you can change it to uh, uh, some DB. And of course, in your design for filter design, if you go to these tools, the whole MATLAB or Simulink uh, to be specific, uh, usually they require the A max and B A minimum in, in DB. OK. I'm not sure if they have it now available in percentage. But that's that's OK. We can go. I mean, these terminologies are used in analog design. What about a minimum, Shabab? How much of a minimum I am uh, uh, allowed to have? It's 1%. OK, so this one will be what? 1%, which is 0.001 of, of what? Oh, 0 0.01, huh? 0 0.01 of a naught. Of a naught, right? So what will be your a minimum? Will be what? A naught. Exactly. A naught. So this one will give you 20 low. Uh, how much? I have it. Uh, 40 dB. But uh, by the way, what is the maximum? I didn't include the maximum. What is the maximum here? Because a minimum, it's between the maximum value and the minimum value. The maximum value here is 105, right? Because I can go to up to 105. That's from the variation plus 5%. percent And I got here uh, 40 dB. OK. Point for the top. Point four. I get it. I get it. Forty point four. Yeah, it's okay. Forty point four. It's right. Forty point four dB. Okay. Time. Right. So this is uh, for this question. Let's try this one. طبعاً هو الكلام كثير, but let's try to find out what is a minimum. Uh, what is a maximum? This is the question. We are required to find a maximum, a minimum, and selectivity factor. selectivity factor in the ideal case, any filter should be how much? Low pass filter, low pass or high pass? Should be how much? Selectivity one. factor? One. one. 
exactly. So let's start with the selectivity factor because it's uh, uh, easy to get. So the selectivity factor here, it's what it is omega s over omega p. تمام. الايدل كاس بيكون 1 طبعا هو المينيمم كاس لانه الاوميجا اس كانت بي بلو اوميجا بي صح يعني يو كانت ستارت الستوب باند بيفور اندينج البيس باند ذس از لوجيكال سو وات از اوميجا اس فروم ذا كويستشن قال لك ايش لو باس فلترز ريكوير تو باس سيجنالز فروم 0 تو 4 كي وذ ا ترانزميشن اوف اولموست خلينا خلينا ترانزميشن الان and then extends from 6 kilohertz to infinity. So let me draw the behavior here. So this is, of course, this is a frequency, and I have some variation in the stop band, uh, best band transition variation in the stop band. I'm, I'm talking about low pass filter. Tamam, if can high pass, be relax. What will be the omega p, ya shabab? 4K. 4K, exactly. So this one will be 4K. And what will be the stop band starting from where? So six while years. the transmission, the stop band extends from six kilohertz to infinity. So this one will start from six kilohertz. Of course, there are two kilohertz for the transition between these two bands. OK. Uh, let me find now the selectivity factor. How much it will be? Six over four. And that's 1.5. Right. Makes sense. So what about variation? Let us start with the variation. Uh, uh, which is what? Uh, so I have a transmission variation of 20, 20 percent. Let's find the MX maximum. Shabab. So I can use a note here. What will be the minimum? Shabab? If you have a variation of 20%. 0.8. 0.8. Exactly. I mean, it's better to have, you know, someone will say, okay, I will try A naught here, and then I, I use 1.2. راح يكون عندك الترانزميشن أقل من لو كان in this case. So we are trying to get the maximum uh, transmission possible. So how much it will be your A max? 1.2. 1 log. 3.2. 5. 3 points, so I'm trying to write them all. How much? Is it 1.2 over 0 uh, 1.9, right? Sorry, sorry. 1.9. I'm sorry, doctor. If you start with 1.2, the 20 log 1.2 can be connected. If the bust 1.2, we start 3.5. 3.5. What about the second case, which is 1 over 0.8? Uh, 1.8? 1, uh, 1 over 1.8. I'll tell you the other one. Yeah, this is what I said, Doctor. 1.2 over 0.8. You're going to get it back? 3.5. 3.5. What about 1.2? We have two cases. We put 20% in front and 20% in front. صح؟ أحسب 1.2 على 1؟ يس 20 لوج. أعطيك 1.6. 1.6، أوكي؟ سو ذيس إز ماتش بيتر، أي مين ذيس ويل جيف يو ذا ماكسيمم فاليو، رايت؟ 3.5 دي بي. يعني ذيس إز ذا ماكسيمم، خلينا نقول ذا وورست كيس، ذا وورست كيس سيناريو. وات أباوت أي أي ليتس أي أي مينيمم؟ كم الأي مينيمم يا شباب؟ 20 لوج. And then uh, what is the maximum? It is A naught, right? Because we are using 0.8 uh, scenario here. What will be uh, the maximum baseband transmission? Uh, the, sorry, the maximum allowed uh, stop band uh, attenuation here. And this one, how much is this one, Ishabab? This value, the maximum attenuation in the stop band. That's 0.1% of A naught, right? Right? So that's 0.001 A naught. Right? So this one will be 0.001 A naught. And how much is that? 60, yeah, into the yeah. War 3. Yeah, yeah, almost 60. Yeah, almost 60 dB. Okay. Uh, doctor, why do we put 1.2 A naught? In the bus? 
1.2 اي نوت لانه احنا احنا اعتمدنا في الاي ماكس لما طلعنا الاي ماكس اعتمدنا انه الاي نوت هي الماكسيمم فاليو اوكي تمام سو يو هاف تو سيناريوز يا شباب ايذر اي نوت ماكسيمم وطلع الكيس يطلع عندك الاي ماكس 3.5 دي بي اور يوز ذا اذر وان ويتش از 1.2 بس اذا اف يو ار يوزنج وان سيناريو يو نيد تو فيكس ذيم اول تمام طيب اني اذر نو ذيس ار ذا ريكويرمنتس طبعا شباب ال A maximum وال A minimum and the selective factor these are just general requirements خلينا نقول terminologies used for filter design but usually when we do it يعني by hand in our course usually we are doing uh, a, low, a low order I mean second order, third order, order or maybe fourth order something like that uh, uh, so Yeah, so so just يعني we need to expose you to the terminology used in in analog design. Uh, دكتور بس uh, في السلايد اللي راحت uh, الجواب يطلع 1.9 دي بي اتوقع. Which one? A max. شباب انا ما عندي الاله احسبوا معي. الكيس اللي اخذيناها 3.5 اللي هو الورست كيس 1.2 على 0.8. لا 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 لاحظ انت اذا سويت 1.2 على 0.8 انت سويت 40% فاريشن انت يا تاخذ 1.2 على 1 او تاخذ 1 على 0.8 صح؟ اها يعني كذا تطلع لنا 1.9 يا دكتور مثل ما اوكي اوكي لان انا الاله مش موجوده عندي 1.94 طيب يا دكتور ليش ما سوينا زي المثال اللي قبل اللي هو مثلا نكتب 1.1 اوفر 0.9 المثال اللي قبل ايوه نقدر نقول دكتور موجب او سالب 10% لا بما انه حدد لك 20% اوف ذا ريبل خلينا ناخذ الورست كيس طبعا انت تقدر على 0.9 ليتس تراي 1.1 على 0.9 كم تجي 20 لوج 1.7 1.7 يعني احنا عندنا الورست سيناريو ذيس وان 1.94 صح؟ يعني شباب كلها بوسيبل انت عندك 20% فاريشن وعندك اي نوت تبي تخليها 1.2 على 1 تبي تخليها 1 على 0.8 تبي تخليها 0.9 على 1.1 على 0.9 سو ليتس ساي يو ار لوكينج فور ذا وورست سيناريو تمام؟ وتش از ذيس وان وي هاف وات وي هاف هير طيب ليت مي جو اون So for the filter transfer function, Shabab, in general, this is the transfer function. What uh, what we need from you here, I need you to know the filter order because uh, uh, this is very important when you design the filters. And of course, uh, the filter order here will follow uh, the maximum power of uh, the denominator here, which is M, okay? So, and of course, M will be smaller than N. Usually, this the power of a numerator will be smaller than uh, the maximum power of the denominator. Okay, and طبعاً of course we talked about the poles and zeros before. Uh, you, I mean, you know how to fact factorize the the polynomial here and to find the poles and zeros will not do that. Uh, usually, we call the poles uh, natural modes. Okay, and I need you to know that where طب خلونا نقول ان جنرال شباب وير دو يو ثينك وي بليس الزيروز وي يوجوالي وي بليس الزيروز في الستوب باند ولا في البيس باند اوف ذا سيركت ان جنرال ها ويزاوت ايفن لوكينج تو ذا سلايد اي مين اي ديدنت بوت ات هير بات ان جنرال اف يو هاف زيروز ان ذا سيركت يو وونت تو بليس ات ان ذا ستوب باند اور ذا بيس باند يعني بتخليها بالستوب باند ولا تخليها بالبيس باند ايش معنى زيرو بالسيركت يا شباب؟ ترانسفير فانكشن اوف زيرو ايش معناها؟ ترانسفير فانكشن تساوي ايش؟ at that particular value تساوي زيرو يا اكزاكتلي تمام فاحنا بنخليها وين؟ الزيروز بنخليها وين؟ بالستوب باند بالستوب باند اكزاكتلي سو وي نيد اور زيروز تو بي لوكيتد ان ذا ستوب باند ليت مي جو باك تو ذا ترانسفير فانكشن هير بتلاحظوا انه ايش؟ سو فور ذيس وان وي هاف ا زيرو We have a zero here. We have another zero here. Okay, so we are taking the value, or we are putting, or locating the zeros to be in the uh, stop band. This is in general in designing filters. And what about the poles? 
ايش معنى بولش شباب للفلتر للترانسفير فانكشن لما اقول لك وي هاف ذيس بول ترانسفير فانكشن ات ذات بارتيكولار فاليو ويل ايكوال وات اكستريم يعني ان ذا اكستريم كيس ترانزيشن بوينت انفينيتي صح؟ في احد منكم قال انفينيتي غلط ما ادري انا سمعت انفينيتي اني واي بس ات از انفينيتي صح؟ لانه البول بتطلع لك ايش هو الزيرو بالدنومينيتور سو ات مينز وات انفينيتي فور ذا جيم اور ذا ترانسفير فانكشن سو اللوجيك ثينكينج يقول لي ايش وين بخلي البولز يا شباب؟ بس ان ذا ان ذا باس باند صح؟ باس باند لانه انا بخلي ايش هاي جين تمام هاي جين ان ذا ان ذا ان ذا باس باند سو ذاتس واي اي نيد تو لوكيت ماي بولز in the base band تمام uh, so this is just uh, general also uh, oh yeah so uh, this is one i mean it depends on the like location of the zeros and the poles you put the zero to have it or we try to make it in the stop band the say, the opposite with the pole we put it in the uh, uh, base band لان ال base band نحتاج gain عالي while in the stop band نحتاج نخليهم زيرو almost يعني uh, اذا كان الجين كامل ترانسفير فانكشن تعطيك زيرو كامل يعني هذا كامل زيرو معناته this is ideal case uh, of course we cannot do that but we are trying to be closer to the ideal case طيب what about the stability issue طبعا احنا we have, this is what we have this is the is plane we know the is plane يا شباب before uh, what do you think of the poles in the right hand side And we usually write this is right hand side, this is left hand side. So, ايش تعرفون عن البولز بالرايت هاند سايد؟ الشباب اللي اخذوا ايش راح يصير؟ يكون انستيبل اذا كانت في الرايت هاند سايد. Exactly. اول ما يكون البولز يا شباب عندك على الجي اوميجا اكسس or the imaginary axis بيكون عندك ايش؟ oscillation صح؟ طبعا once you طبعا once you have your poles uh, located on j omega you have an oscillated signal or an oscillation in the system تمام so that's why we are trying to be away from the j omega or we are trying to be in the left hand side of the s plane تمام طبعا the left hand side of the of the the, the system uh, or the s plane you have a stable system while in the right hand side Of course, شباب, you have an unstable system. طبعا إذا أخذتها بترانسفير فانكشن, you don't want to have a negative in the in the poles because if you have a negative now, you are going to the uh, uh, to the right hand side. يعني s minus خلينا نقول one, this one will give you what a pole of one. تمام pole of one will be something here. لا طبعا مش here. Uh, imagine uh, real, it will be here, right? Okay, شباب. So that's why we are trying to be away from the right, right hand side of uh, the S plane. Uh, uh, this is for your uh, information and just to know the pattern here where we need to, to place the poles and also the zeros. Okay, طيب. let me ask you, Shabab, what about the low pass frequency? What do you think of the zeros? We have Do we have a zero in the uh, like in the zero frequency in the DC region here, or we have a zero at infinity? A zero below pass filter. Hal bi kun عندنا zero بال DC. يعني we are trying to are we trying to make a zero close to the DC value or infinity? Infinity. This is one. What about the high pass filter? العكس العكس تمام what about the band pass filter uh, عندنا two capacitors غالب in the middle خلينا نقول two poles أو, أو two different types of poles so we need some poles here close to the DC and we also want to have some poles uh, sorry zeros uh, uh, I mean we need some poles close to, close to the DC and we need some pole, uh, the zeros uh, close to infinity لانه بالاخير عندك بيكون زيرو من اللو فريكونسي وايضا زيرو بالهاي فريكونسي عندك فقط ريجن اوف فريكونسيز ذات يو ار يوزنج فور ذا باند باس فلتر طيب ليت مي اسك يو هير وات از ذا تايب اور وات از ذا فلتر تايب هير 
I mean, this is Lopez filter. What is the order of this filter using this transfer function, Shabab? It's five. That's the order. It is five. Tamam, the order of the filter is five. Okay. So uh, this is a bandpass filter. Yes, I think we talked about the, the zeros where we have them. We have them in the uh, in the in like in this region here, uh, close to the DC, and also in the infinite or infinity uh, uh, to have also uh, some zeros at the infinity. What will be a shabab the order here of this filter based on this transfer function? It is. Six. It is six. طبعا شباب لما نقول six عندنا number of the order six إيش معناه عندنا and how many zeros? I mean the summation of the poles and the zeros should be. The poles should be six. Should be six. The order يعطينا بس poles يا دكتور ولا both of them. تمام طبعا if you are if you are getting the the شو اسمه the poles and the figure conjugate موجودة. They they appear also in conjugate values, صح? So we have one, two, three, and we have the same. They are in conjugate. And if you are counting the conjugate, yes, six poles. تمام? Okay. طيب. So let me go on. I believe this is the same discussion here. Uh, but about the all pole, uh, sorry, all pass. This one should be all pass, eh, Shabab. This one should be all pass. Uh, and from the name, uh, this one also should be all pass. From the name, it has nothing to do with filtering like the frequency with magnitude. So all pass filter, it means if you draw the, the gain here, this one will be what? It's almost constant. So, what's the name? I'm going to say here. طب إيش الفائدة من الـ all pass filter شباب؟ كيف؟ Limiting the amplitude. Okay. I can use other types of circuit to limit the amplitude. صح؟ بس كل الفرق frequencies الآن they they are equal يعني ويمشون بنفس الجين يعني so what is the point here? I mean I can use buffer. I can use uh, any any other circuit. What is the benefit of all pass filter? Any idea? Laha ala noise bala shay. Laha ala phase of the filter because we will have different phases. Okay. So your 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 filter will allow or like let's say any will pass some frequencies with the some phase difference and the others will be having other uh, phase uh, difference. So we have kind of phase uh, delay or changing in the phase. But the magnitude it is the same. And usually we call this circuit delay equalizer. Delay equalizer. Okay. So if you need a delay equalizer, where you need to play with the phase of the system or of, of the frequencies, you want to consider all pass filter. Tamam? Right. Let's start uh, implementing these filters and starting by the first order filter. Tabaan, we will try to implement them using our, uh, tabaan, now we are talking about active filters, Shabab. So usually we use op amps to do that. Of course, we'll at some time we'll use a passive element, but uh, I mean a passive implementation but we'll consider mainly the active implementation of analog filters. So this is a first order filter function. Uh, this is a bilinear function. And of course, based on A1 and A0, I mean the value of A1 and A0, you may have a low pass filter, high pass filter, or band pass filter, uh, 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 sorry, all pass filter, uh, because we cannot have a band pass filter here. In the first order. What do you think, Shabab? If A1 is zero, if A1 is zero and A1, uh, A0 is there, I mean, still there, what will be the type of the filter? So the transfer function will be something like A0 over S plus omega A0. All pass? Low pass. Low pass, exactly. Low pass filter. 
شباب التشيك القديم لكم لما كنا نتكلم عن التشيك هاو تو تشيك جاست ابلاي ال اس ايكوال تو زيرو اس ايكوال تو انفينيتي وشوف الترانسفير فانكشن حقك تمام ات اس ايكوال تو زيرو وي هاف اي زيرو اي نوت اوفر اوميجا نوت اوكي ذاتس ا فاليو ذاتس سم فاليو اند ذن وين اس ايكوال تو انفينيتي اوف كورس ذا تي اس ويل جوز تو زيرو سو اوف كورس وات وي هاف وي هاف ذيس امبلمنتيشن اور ذيس ترانسفير فانكشن Uh, sorry, uh, like uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, with uh, I don't know body plot, let's say, تمام? of the game, تمام? So this is TS. And if you do the opposite, if you make, for example, if you make a shabab a not equal to zero, what will be the case? Will not be there. This one will be what? High, uh, high pass. High pass, exactly. So. What we have, a shabab, this is TS of high pass filter, tamam? Uh, and this is the function. We have A1S over S plus omega naught. So if you apply zero, or check, if you apply zero, the transfer function will be zero. So you are starting from zero. And if you are doing infinity, okay, this one uh, uh, will have uh, almost, I mean, the, the transfer function will go high, تمام goes to some values طبعا eventually it will grow it will go down doing a bypass uh, band bypass filter but will not do that I mean this is the ideal case in the ideal case like this is a sketch we are sketching s for zero and s for infinity and this is what we are getting تمام okay so طبعا of course we have a lot of uh, uh, filters here And uh, this is, uh, if you want to consider this one and check it, Shabab, from your side, uh, the for the passive and the active implementation of the OBAM. What I need you to do here, uh, actually, let's find the transfer function because usually you want to trans find the transfer function of a circuit, and then decide whether this circuit is a low pass, band pass, high pass, or whatever. So let's do this here. Okay, let's try to uh, find the transfer function of this circuit. Okay, and we assume here ideal of them. Okay, because we don't want to include the infinite gain of the album, which is A. So if this is an ideal album, and of course this is a negative feedback, LV positive here or the uh, inverting or the non inverting terminal is connected to ground. What will be V negative, Shabab? Zero. Will be zero. Will be virtually ground, right? And then you can apply the KCL here, or simply you can take a shabab. This one as Z. Uh, let me let me let us do this. It's okay. So this one is what? This one is virtually ground. <clears throat> okay. And uh, let's assume this is the current here. So we have zero minus V I over R one uh, in series with one over S C. Okay. Equals, they are both leaving. Plus, I mean, zero minus V out over R2. Okay. Make sense? So then you just find the transfer function here. So uh, this one will give you what? Will give you V out. Let me try to write V out here. R2 uh, minus VI over SCR1 plus 1 multiplied by SC. Okay. And then, of course, your V out over VN will be minus SC, uh, R2, SC VI over, over what? SCR1 plus 1. Sorry. So, what will be, uh, and then of course, we are trying. To make it, يعني close to the uh, the uh, let's say uh, our our transfer function, which is what, which is a one s plus a naught over s plus omega naught. So this coefficient of the s in the denominator need to be equals to one. So let's try to to do that. So that's minus r two s c over uh, c r one. Multiply by S, S plus one over CR one. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. 
this one will go with this one. So this is the transfer function of this circuit. R2 over R1, S over S plus one over C R1. OK, what is this function, Shabab? I mean, what the, what's the function of this circuit? High pass. High pass. So this is high pass filter. What is the gain of the high pass filter? And of course, if I'm, I'm talking about the high pass filter, I'm talking about the high frequency gain. OK, because in the low frequency, it is zero, almost zero. But I'm talking about the high frequency gain. R2 over R1. Minus exactly. R2 over R1. So this one will be R2 over R1. So in negative. If you are talking the absolute value, this one will be positive. That's fine. And then what will be omega naught or the corner frequency? So if I want to draw this one, this, uh, this shape will be your uh, filter. And this is omega naught. Omega naught equals to? 1 over uh, CR1. CR1. Okay. So 1 over CR1. So this is what we need from like analyzing the op -amp circuit and then finding the transfer function. Of course, this is a first order, but then you may need to do a second order or you may need to do other orders. Shabab, if you have if you have a, a circuit that cascading two first order filters, you want to uh, divide them. So if, if, for example, if you have this one, you have you have this circuit here. OK, and then we ask you to connect this one to another circuit as such. OK, which is what which is a low pass filter. So better idea, I mean, we ask you to find, for example, V input, V output of our V input or the transfer function of the system. Uh, uh, best approach here is to make it uh, two different circuits. Oops. As we did in the transistor level implementation, so you want to connect this one Vx, so find the auto to Vx and then find Vx to Vn. OK, and of course the gain, the total gain will be what? The total gain or the transfer function will be the first the transfer function. Gain. Yes, multiplied by the second transfer function. OK, multiplication of two because this is a cascaded implementation. This is negative, negative. OK, let's now to, uh, let's do a design now. Uh, so we are asked to design a filter, first order uh, active low pass filter with a bandwidth of 100 hertz and unity gain. Let me call the عندك unity gain. What is the best approach here for this uh, for this uh, question? What do you think? And the fact that the bandwidth and the unity and the gain unity. Which optimal circuit to use here? Buffer. And let's say which circuit is the best for you. What do you think? Buffer. Buffer maybe. Buffer. Okay. Yeah. So we can use a buffer. Of course, because because there is an active. If you say. If if the requirement say OK, design a first order low pass filter, I can go ahead and design my passive low pass filter, صح? اللي هو اللي احنا نتعودنا عليه R and C, and this is V out, V in. But because we have an active, we can go and use buffer. That's fine. I mean, we can do this. So this is a uh, plus, and this is negative here. OK. That's one approach because we don't want to use other resistors. And if you are using other resistors, uh, R1 or R2 or any other implementation, you are يعني, using extra or redundant resistors than it should be. So, so this is one, one approach. The other approach is to use our known implementation of the first order filter. And I will tell you why you are doing this. OK, this is our first order filter. If you go and check the filters that we have in the table, this is a first order filter. This is R1, R2 and C. Five. Let's do the buffer now. So how much your bandwidth? So omega naught will be one over CR. OK, and that's two by 100 Hertz. Then you have a freedom you have to choose any value for the capacitor or the resistor and you find the other one. OK. So for example, if I choose if R equals to one, 
and this is based on your this this is based on your design شباب a design بالعادة you are using any value but it should be practical value and لو جاء أحد وقال لك والله I'm using one ohm one ohm is like a very very small value تمام ولا I'm using one giga ohm that's a very large resistor I I I don't think you will get it in the lab so usually one k one hundred k 10k, 1k, that's that's fine. Even in mega, that's okay. So what will be your capacitor here? Uh, 1.6. micro. Yes. Okay. Which is almost 1.6. Tamam. And again, of course, it is one. What about this one? What about the circuit that we have on the other side? So uh, if you do the analysis, طبعًا if it is given, but if you do the analysis, the gain will be it will be what is about. This is looks like uh, an uh, an inverting amplifier without a capacitor. If you don't include the capacitor, so imagine you exclude the capacitor, it will be nothing but an inverting amplifier. The inverting amplifier is about minus R2 over R1. Okay, we have the gain equals to one. Let's use R1 equal R2 equals. خلينا نقول 1k. And then if this is the case, the band this is 100 hertz. What will be your capacitor value? will be the same, right? So the main difference here is about between the buffer implementation and the second one. In the buffer implementation, and of course, we cannot have more than one gain for the gain, okay? But there is also another advantage of the second filter, which is the filter that is present here. And you are not using, actually, you are not using the positive terminal somehow, okay? So for this one, you may also implement what we call a differential input uh, low pass filter later on. Tamam, you can use the other terminal to apply another filtering in the circuit. Tamam. So this is better because this one, as if it's saying I am available for any other connection. Tamam. So keep this in mind and we are using this one uh, even in your lab. You will be using the first order uh, second. Sorry, the first order. Uh, low pass filter in this implementation, not in the buffer implementation. Of course, even in this one, I can use what? I can use or I can add the, the, the I can add the, the gain above by this much. So I go here, connect this one to ground. I can do this. And we have two things. I will say must the positive. It's not available for use for the, doing differential. Second, we are adding another resistor. So. يعني إحنا عندنا three resistors, one capacitor. هنا عندنا two resistors, one capacitor. Okay, you can see that as well. If you want to criticize these circuits, you can look at it from this point of view. Okay. Any question, شباب? On Tuesday, إن شاء الله we start our second order filter. But any questions so far? Yeah, Doctor. Yes. عندي سؤال على concept of bandwidth. Uh, yes. Does it make sense uh, to have it for the high pass filter? Yes. So for the high pass filter, usually when we say the high pass filter, it is connected to uh, or it is limited by the bandwidth of the OBAM. Uh, and usually when we say uh, bandwidth, we are or we want to define or we want to quantify low pass filter and the band pass filter. But just in case if someone say, OK, the bandwidth of the high pass filter, he should specify the corner frequency. OK, the corner frequency there are some limitation. The OBAM will limit your band pass, uh, sorry, your high pass uh, implementation. So you should have some limitation here. Tamam? So if someone say, OK, what is the bandwidth here? The bandwidth will be your ob amp or the uh, uh, limitation coming from the active circuit minus the corner frequency here. So it's not the actual bandwidth or the actual uh, corner frequency. And either I wrote like a high bass filter with a bandwidth of one megahertz. It does not mean that this one is your omega naught. No, it's not your omega naught. It means you are processing from omega naught of some value up to the limitation of the active element. Tamam? So you need to make sure you ask for the corner frequency. Okay, this is the bandwidth, but what is the corner frequency? 
Make sense? And usually we don't provide the shabab the bandwidth and the low, the high pass filter. In the high pass filter, usually we give you the corner frequency and the gain right away. Tamam? But if someone say the bandwidth and the high pass frequency, high pass filter, it means the limitation coming from the active element. Lano belakhir andak limitation. So yeah, there there is still a bandwidth in the high pass filter. There is some bandwidth. You cannot go beyond that. Allah. Okay, we're well, exceeding now two minutes. See you Tuesday, inshallah. We will be starting the second topic of the filters. Uh,